information before every patient of victims. We have created for the first time in all history a garden of pure ideology where each worker may bloom secure from the pests of a contradictory thoughts. Our unification of the force is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people with one will one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own confusion. We shall prevail. 2020 will be just like 2016. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Armando Man. I'm coming at you with an unscripted commentary because the past two days have been very, very interesting days. Yesterday, for the first time in 27 months, Leafy is here uploading a video on YouTube in regards to the recent iDub situation. So, in other words, Leafy is back. You all remember Leafy from the 2016 controversy uh, and the iDub's content cop that happened on Leafy, which a lot of people credit as his downfall. There's an interesting video by Emperor Lemon about the true downfall of Leafy. But essentially what you need to know is that throughout 2017, Leafy was a dead man walking. And pretty much finished in December without saying goodbye. He just kind of left YouTube. But he is back now. He is back and with a 30 second video just saying that iDubs was a cuck. I think all of it is cool. Yeah, I know. I Dude, you're a fucking cuck. So, at first, this was really quite interesting to me. Then I noticed an interesting pattern. The next day, today, on April 1st, April Fool's Day, this was not an April Fool's joke, but Anthony Fantano on his YouTube channel, The Needle Drop, said that he was going to start making reviews of music memes. At first I thought he meant meme songs, but then it became clear he was talking about memes about music. So, with Anthony Fantano essentially reviving the meme review, which was started in 2016, and Leafy is here returning, who was a very prominent YouTuber in 2016, I'm starting to notice this trend. 2020 might be the next 2016. Another interesting note is that Pyro Cynical, who is also an active member of the 2016 YouTube drama, has recently been making a lot more commentary videos about other YouTubers. I was, I've been subscribed to Pyro Cynical since summer 2017, and his content from that point until just recently was primarily focused on interesting projects that he just kind of messed around with, not really aimed content, but recently he has been focusing on Liza Koshi quite, quite, uh, with, with quite vigor. I don't know if that was the right word, but it certainly seems like a word that you can use to describe what is happening. And other YouTubers, such as Diesel Patches, have also been making several commentary videos on other YouTubers, which is not dissimilar to YouTube in any ordinary year, but it is similar to YouTube in 2016. So maybe we will see a repeat of the 2016 events. Because if Leafy is back, which a lot of people are theorizing that this was a one-time thing, or that since it was a 30-second video, he's probably not serious about it, or another common theory is that he will just continue this year doing chip posting. all valid theories, but I do think that he is, he is back, and he is ready for more, even though he does hate YouTube. Who knows? I think 2020, especially with the uh, coronavirus, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, there are several people who have a lot more free time uh, on their hands, and people are going to get stir-crazy. We're just going to get crazy in general. A lot of interesting things are going to happen out there. Society has never quite been the same. And I think this total lack of structure and order will probably bring about a new era of YouTube, or a revitalized version of the prior era of YouTube. Because with the new COPA laws that essentially make it so there is no point in catering to little kids on YouTube, 
maybe YouTube will, maybe, possibly, they will resume their um, favor for more edgy content creators because YouTube no longer can really gain that much money from kids. So maybe their focus is going to shift towards content creators like Leafy is here, Diesel Patches, Pyrocynical, IDubs TV, all these guys who've always made more edgy content. I'm certainly excited to see what happens. 2020 has already proven to be one of the most interesting years of my entire life. And it is only April 1st. So, with that being said, I want to thank everybody who tuned into this video. This video is going to be very rushed because I am recording this at 2 in the afternoon. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Much like PBS, this channel is supported by viewers like you.